This is an 8085 based computer that I've been working on for a while. It has 64 kilobytes of memory and uh, 8 kilobytes of ROM. There's an 8212 to demultiplex the uh, 8 bit data bus off the uh, data address bus. A little bit of glue logic there, and uh, all I have loaded on the ROM right now is just a very basic primitive ROM monitor program that I've been working on for a few years and a demo 20 question scheme. The blue LED is what it indicates whether it's in bank 0 or bank 1. With the LED off it's in bank 0, with the LED on it's in bank 1. This is just purely for diagnostics. So when I plug it in it should turn on, should be off initially and then turn on about half a second later. Now it's in bank one and the computer is ready. It communicates over an RS-232 interface through uh, bit banging the bits out of the CPU's serial input and serial output ports. Uh, it communicates at 2400 baud, 8 2 in. Now the system is ready. All I have to do is type help and it'll give me a list of commands. If I type demo, it runs the demo 20 questions game. Let's think of the word, let's think of the sun for instance. So is it big? Well obviously the sun is big. Is it something that you would use outside? Technically yes, but I'm just going to say sometimes. Can you walk on it? Unless you're walking on sunshine, I don't think so. Can you hold it? Not really. Can you walk in it? No. Does it have words on it? No. Is it something that you would use every day? Yes. Does it make a sound when you use it? Not really, no. Is it heavy? Yeah, I think the sun's pretty heavy. Does it use electricity? No. Is it always on the ground? No. Does it light up? Yes, it lights up. Does it use fuel? Technically, yes. So... Is it in space? Obviously. Does it spin? Yes. Does it float? I guess you could say it floats. Can you fold it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know anyone who can fold the sun. Can you see it? Yes, but it's dangerous to look at it. Can you feel it? Yes, it shines on your skin. Is it clear? Not really. Hey, and it got it right. It actually uses a very primitive scoring based uh, system with about 20 bits or so. So it can really only differentiate between about 20 words. But it's a proof of concept demo and it shows that the hardware is in fact working. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.